Okay, today we're going to look at the Nogmentation system. Um, Ginny here will be our guide and tell us how to do that. Jenny's a gnome. That's what a gnome looks like in um, in villagers and heroes. And augmentation is um, the process for upgrading your weapons. You can keep the look of a weapon and then um, transfer all of the uh, abilities from that weapon onto, like merge them onto one weapon. So. Here's how we do that. Greetings, human. Have you come to learn the wonders of Nogmenting? Who are you? My name's Jenny, and I was sent here by Chieftain Garrison from Verda, Chief of the Gnomes, and he wants me to teach the world far and wide about Nogmentation. What is Nogmentation? Nogmenting is the process of combining two weapons or pieces of armor into one better piece. The Nogmenter, which is you, gets to decide the stats of the new piece, what feats and spells it will have, and even how it looks. Well, how does it work? It's a mixture of special gnomish magic, plus some technology that we have deployed or developed. However, the intricacies of Nogmenting are top secret. Well, and how do I do it? The best way to learn is practice. I will give you a box of weapons for your class. Find the box in your inventory, then open it. Then you should grab an open station and start playing around with augmenting. If you want some more weapons, just let me know. Okay. So, we come over here. Let's get the, there's Ginny. And um, here's an open station, workbench. Uh, we'll open our bags over here. And this is the uh, Jenny's box of swords. Since I'm a fighter, I got swords. And here we have um, a sword of thunder that has a thunderous call on it, taunts enemies. See how it's uh, down here? It has the, oops, sorry. Right here, uh, every once in a while it'll pop up with these awesome deals from the store. Um, anyway, it doesn't happen that often. Anyway, uh, Thunderous Call taunts all enemies within a large radius to attack you. So we'll want to keep that um, on the new weapon. And this one has Eagle Strike, does an extra 11 damage, has a 1% increased chance to critical strike. Okay, so. What we do is we pick how it's going to look. Um, I kind of like that one a little better. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to keep Thunderous Call. And we're going to keep Eagle Strike. So our new weapon will look like this and have both abilities on it. I have 82 silver and it's going to cost me 4 copper. So. Nogment. That's... What's going to happen, uh, just to confirm. And there's our new, our new weapon, and it has both abilities on it, both feats. So now what we'll do is we'll take this one here and this one here, and we'll put these two, we want to keep these two feats. Maybe, there we go. And this one is Griffin Strike. So deals an extra six physical damage plus an additional five holy damage over 10 seconds. So when it has uh, even 25% more additional damage to undead. So we'll want all three of these abilities and we want it to look like that or that. Kind of like that one. Hmm. We'll, we'll use this one. There we go. 
Confirm. And now our sword has three abilities on it. Um, did we do everything she wanted? Oh, we did. Okay. How is it going? I have performed two augmentations. I'm an expert now. Claim the reward. Whoa, whoa. I wouldn't say you're quite... You're an expert quite yet. We are well on your way. You did a great job, Zelly Belly. Here are some sockets as a reward. You can use these to further enhance your gear. Cool. Goodbye, Jenny. So now what I'm going to do, uh, because three is the most you can have without socketing, um, three of these uh, abilities on here. And so now what I want to do is get Pummel on there as well. So we're going to take this here, 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 and now if I want Pummel on there, Pummel, um, it can apply Thunderstruck, which lowers your target's elemental protection and can be spell fused. Hmm, I don't know what that does, but let's do that. Uh, also, Deals an extra 10 points of physical damage and generates an extra 44 points of threat, which is good. So, see, once you get into these last um, slots, you require these sockets. You have to have them. It's it's part of the cost. You have to have at least one to apply this one. And now our item has four um, abilities on it. What do I have on my character here? A level five. Seems like I'd want to put all that stuff on this one. So I take this item here, this item here, and what if we move this? And that. It's going to be expensive. And I want it to look like that. There we go. So now, that's an awesome sword. I have one second left. And this ability slash isn't on this sword yet. So what I'm going to do is one more augment, uh, augmentation. Sorry. There we go. We're going to use our last socket. And uh, it's a cool looking sword, but I think I want this one, the pointy one. So here we go. Here's our new sword. It has Eagle Strike, Griffin Strike, Pummel, Slash, and Thunderous Call on it. Um, and so then when we equip it, see down here are my two abilities that I have from my levels. And then when I equip this, boom, I get all those abilities that that sword has. So that's pretty cool. Um, sockets are definitely awesome. Augmenting is awesome. So. Um, make sure you make sure you make use of it, especially when you see Jenny in the beginner area, then she can get you started with a, a good starter weapon like this. So that's it. That's all we have for augmentation.